We all know how fast things can happen in a jet. Managing your energy state and verifying your flight director modes are two things that can really bite you. Watch what happens if you're not focused. Thanks, Charlie. Pilots love to talk about gotchas. Here's a couple examples of where the wrong autopilot or flight director mode used at the wrong time can pretty quickly get a pilot into trouble. And 416 Delta Line cleared for takeoff runway 24. Takeoff power set. Airspeed's alive both sides. 70 knots. V1. Rotate. Positive right. And clean the wing. Putting on the gear. Gears up. Flaps are up. And we'll go filch. And 170. I turned it off. Okay, flight level change. Oop, oh, autopilot. We're good. Okay, okay, autopilot. Oops. And uh, we busted the altitude. So that's six tell the mic. Descend immediately to 1,500. Uh, six Delta Mike, we are we're descending now 1,500. And it should be on nav. David was understandably trying to use his normal takeoff procedure, but given his lightweight, cold temperatures and low level off, he came up on his first altitude much sooner than normal. Let's see how just staying in pitch mode and keeping things simple can make for a more relaxed and safe level off. Speeds alive. Seventy knots cross check. V one, rotate. Positive rate, gear up. And safe altitude flaps up. We're just going to stay right at ten degrees pitch. In no time at all, the flight director is going to transition to ALTS capture mode. As it does so, we're just going to smoothly reduce the power to keep our airspeed in our desired range under 200 knots and let the autopilot transition directly from pitch into altitude hold mode. A lot calmer and safer. Watch what can happen when climbing in vertical speed mode at high altitude. Okay, we've we cleared the weather, and it looks like uh, nothing in between us and the destination. That's good. All right, we're gonna see. I got a rental car at the FBO, and we the meeting's not till four, so we've got two hours to get ready, and we can get all the everything done. Um, uh, Patty. You, you bought the sandwiches? Okay. Can I get a ham? Yeah, with a... Yeah, just a regular Coke. Yeah. Well, about an hour? Yeah. And whether it's a 75 there. It should be... It should be nice. Not your sister. We're not... No, we're not, we're not asking your sister. No. I don't... Look... We've, we've done. We've gone through this before. Holy crap! We stalled. We stalled the airplane. Whoa! Power forward. Okay. No, I can't. I can't. I can't talk. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Back to forty-one. Crap. Oh, 
this is not going to be good. Station 416 Delta Mike, say altitude. Uh, 6 Delta Mike, uh, we're climbing back to 41. We had some, uh, we had an issue. We're, we're rectifying that right now. Station 416 Delta Mike, your opposite traffic is my level 400. Uh, uh, 6 Delta Mike, say, say the traffic, where is he? Uh, you do be at your 10 to 11 o'clock position at this time. A couple good examples of where using the CJP SOPs can lead to a safer, more enjoyable flight. Thank you, Neil. This is extremely valuable safety information. This video, along with much more safety material, can be found for free at citationjetpilots.com. Just click on the safety tab. Fly safe and we'll see you soon.